Hey guys, I thought I'd come to you with a little bit different angle from the empties videos I did and the Barrett's wax craft video I did. So I'm just like on a chair in front of a wall in my family room in front of my little agave decor here. Um, I wanted to bring to you, this is just one, um, Hayden Rowe haul. This is probably my biggest Hayden Rowe haul I've ever done. When it came in, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and somehow I got two loaves of something. I did pay for them. Um, but I meant to just get one, but that's okay. Cause it's in a scent that I really love. So I also got some, quite a few new to me scents that I had never smelled before that I ordered in a loaf. <laughs> and so anyways, I'm very excited. I actually wrote all the notes down this time, so I can be a little bit more helpful. So, uh, Christine, Christina, I'm sorry, Christina owns, um, Hayden Rowe. She makes amazing high quality, high end, amazing, like wax with these great blends that no one else does. I find that her company is very unique in my opinion. Um, in my house, almost everything throws great. Most things I get from her, I love. There is hardly anything I don't like. So anyway, she's also uh, very responsive on Facebook and Instagram. Um, very communicates so well with her customers. I've, if I've ever, ever had a problem, she, sorry, I'm kind of tired guys. Um, if I ever had a problem, she has responded and fixed it or explained why it couldn't be, et cetera, et cetera. I'm just super happy with Hayden Rowe. I love how she does her restocks. Um, she gives you a list way ahead of time of dates um, and scents that are going to be posted. And I love that she loads all the scents on the website. You have your own login and you ahead of time, you can go and make a wish list. And I'm a very decisive person. I'm not indecisive. So I don't have to go on there when it's all open and pick and choose. Like I already know I've already made my list. It's all on my wish list. So when the website opens for the, for the restock to buy, you can go to your wish list, put add all to the cart, go to your cart and buy it super fast. Super, I almost always get what I want from her restocks because that's what I do. And it's really easy. So that's my secret. <laughs> anyway, so let me get started. She always sends samples, so let's get started with those first. The first sample she sent me was Garden Stroll, and her samples are the cutest, the duckies. I wish she'd go back to doing ducky bags because I have decided that I like bags of shapes the best, or bags of, I don't want to use the words because I don't want to get in trouble from other vendors, but I just like small pieces of wax in a bag that I can get through that are already cut up for me. But loaves are nice too because I like chopping up loaves, but anyway. So gardens, right? Did we do garden stroll first? Yes. Garden stroll is cool garden mint, fresh cut grass and serene waters. So I had had this one in a ready bit from, I think it was two restocks ago. While every single one of those notes sound like something I would love together. I don't, I don't know why I thought I would love it. I just don't. Um, I don't really get mint serene waters or grass. I mean, maybe I can, but they just, to me together, I'm, I'm glad I didn't order it because it's not something that I would love. I will melt this happily, probably in the bathroom, but not one I'd buy. And I'm glad to have gotten it in a ready bit and a ducky to know that. The next sample I got was, is the who I've never ordered this on my own. I've never smelled it before. So the who is sun dried linen, citrus, cyclamen, ivy, rose, tonka, vanilla, flower, warm, amber, and a hint of patchouli. That's a lot. And I mean, I definitely smell patchouli and I kind of smell a hodgepodge of all those other things too. I can't say I dislike this because I don't. Is it one I would seek out and buy? Probably not, but it's very pleasant and I wouldn't say feminine, wouldn't say masculine. Anyone could, it's a wearable scent though. It smells familiar to me, whatever it is, in a perfume or body care, but it's not super body care ish. I like it and it smells strong. Okay. So the first one that I was super unsure about, Oh, sorry. So sorry. Let me explain real quick. <laughs> so the way she's releasing her wax right now, um, and it's kind of to condense things and make things easier to make it more efficient to get wax out faster and, uh, have more amounts of wax available. And I, I totally get that during this whole COVID crisis. So, as she is, um, I'll show you the back. I won't sh 
show you the scent yet. This is a, a fourth loaf. So it's literally a loaf cut in fours. She is transitioning to these souffle cups that are going to cost a little bit more because they're heavier in ounces. So obviously, I, I believe um, a loaf is about 16 ounces. It's like 14 to 16 ounces. And then so a quarter of that is this. And these are 450, I believe. So that's all that we, she has right now is loaves and quarter loaves. But on the, her next restock, which is tomorrow, July 31st, her endless summer restock, she's not doing the quarter loaves. She's doing the souffle cups, just so you know. Okay, so this one sells out every time. <laughs> is, I think, on the Hayden Row Facebook page, like everybody's favorite. But I have been so hesitant to buy it. And let me explain to you why. It is called Footy Pajamas. It is meant to smell like your cute little kiddo coming out on a Saturday or Sunday morning watching cartoons, eating their cereal in their footy pajamas. And that is the cutest thought in the world. But the notes are sweet lavender, blueberry, and lemon laundry. I do not like blueberry and wax, and I don't like sweet lavender. So I was very scared. But everyone loved it, so I thought, let me get a quarter loaf and let me see. And it smells pretty good. Like, I'm excited that lemon, la like she did so well picking lemon laundry to me 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 meld <laughs> these two scents that I don't usually like together. And I like it because that lemon laundry, the lemon in it and that blueberry together almost make it smell like a cereal scent. And the sweet lavender doesn't quite smell like sweet lavender because of that super bright citrusy lemon. I like it, you guys. I don't know if it's my favorite scent ever. And look how pretty that quarter loaf is, those two colors. Exactly how it smells. It smells like these colors. It's not my favorite scent from her, but this is good. Much better than I expected. It does smell like a little kid eating some Fruit Loops or Fruity Pebbles in their jammies. It truly smells like that. Footy Pajamas is like such a perfect name for that. And it smells strong. I'm super excited. I'm super glad that I got that one. The next one was a disappointment for me, and I hate saying that because I love Hidden Row. And I got three of them, three quarter loaves of this, and I, it was an accident. I only meant to get two, I think, but whatever. Sweet Summertime. The notes sounded so good and so enticing, and I just don't like it. So Sweet Summertime is juicy apricots, light florals, vanilla, and sweet golden honey. I love apricots, I love honey, I like vanilla. I don't like this. First of all, I can barely smell anything. Barely smell anything. Maybe it's something my brain and nose just don't pick up. I don't know. It might slightly, slightly smell like, it almost smells like soap suds to me. Like when your kid's in a bath with like Johnson & Johnson soap and just the smell of the suds. Kind of. So, like I said, I bought three of those quarter loaves and just because I didn't quite understand it on cold, I was like, let me try it on warm. So one of them I already chopped up and I melted and I put in my family room warmer and my kitchen warmer so I could smell it as strong as possible together. I didn't smell anything and I've never had that with Hayden Row before. I think it's literally a scent that I can't smell. I think that's the issue. I think because other people love it. I'm hoping that Hidden Row, I think she has a de-stash page, I think. Because I'm going to de-stash this if I can. Because it's brand new, good quality wax that other people love that I just don't and can't smell. So, sweet summertime, I'm sorry. Okay, so the next one that I actually got two loaves of, I don't know what I was doing. I was like buying like crazy. Who freaking knows what I was doing? But I love this one anyway, so I'm so happy. Her Sea Salt and Yuzu. A couple other brands have this one too. Her original sea salt, I have been through, I think two loaves of, or a loaf and a couple quarters. Yeah, a loaf and a half. So I know I love her sea salt and you can definitely smell sea salt in this loaf. But the notes in sea salt and yuzu are satsuma, grapefruit, yuzu, sea salt, stone fruit, water lotus, and aloe. Now, usually for me, when um, something has satsuma in it, I can't smell anything else. And that is not the case in this. I can't really even tell that there's Satsuma in this and I'm kind of happy about it. I like Satsuma, but it takes over everything. It's a bully. <laughs> um, oh, this smells 
so good. It's kind of melting in my fingers. It's really soft. It's this pretty, I mean, I think it's a peach or orange color. I'm not sure. Um, so my axe, whew, that is melty right now. I've had it in my house overnight, but I'm so happy I ended up with two loaves of that. If her sea salt is magic, like it, it's almost otherworldly. Like it smells like you're, this is going to sound super nerdy, but like you're on a planet made of water and rainforest and it's just serene and no other humans are there and you can be in peace. <laughs> Um, that's what her sea salt smells like to me. And this is like sea salt and yuzu, like grapefruit. Oh my gosh. This is like serenity. It's so calm. Yet it's so strong. You guys, you don't need much. Ugh, like you literally, if you want to meditate or if you're angry or high strung about something, which I tend to get that way. And I need something that says, Danny, you need to take a step back and calm down and reflect. That's this scent for me. And so that's why I'm glad to have two loaves of it, especially in these times. It's magic. It's beautiful. Okay. So one I kind of went on a limb on she, during, sorry, I'm sitting up so straight to get in this view. She did in her Christmas in July um, restock was her Christmas stroll. This is, and the reason I got this one, I had never smelled it before, but people rave about this one. So it says, loaded with cranberries, orange zest, eucalyptus, clove, amber, bergamot, which I think I say that wrong all the time. It should be bergamot or bergamot, and sheer woods. So I was hoping because that first sentence said loaded with cranberries, that it was mostly going to be a cranberry scent, and maybe on warm it will be. I haven't melted it yet. I don't know if that's blue or green, but... My nose, it smells like a Christmas tree. It just smells like an evergreen scent. Maybe with a touch of spice. I like it, don't get me wrong, but I don't know if I need this much wax that smells like a Christmas tree. So I'll probably, I'll be sharing it for sure. I have a couple um, friends and sisters that will like this. And I like it, do not get me wrong. This smells really good. Um, I just, there's not much time of the year that you need to melt this kind of scent. Does that make sense? So if I got this again, I wouldn't get it in this amount. I just was really hoping I'd get that orange zest and cranberry. My, one of my favorite holiday scents is like cranberry and orange zest together. So I'm hoping she'll come out with a scent that smells more like that. But this mostly just smells like a Christmas tree with maybe, maybe a tiny bit of orange zest and some spices to me. That's what this smells like. It smells really good, just not what I was expecting. And it smells crazy strong. Oh, there's wax all over me. Another one that I had never smelt before, but I thought the notes sounded really good. Her picture that she put up to help sell it was really pretty. And I was like, let's go for it. Tahitian Spa. This one is lemongrass, bergamot, white tea, and cedar wood. So when I got it in, I almost was like, is this Avo bath? but it's not. You definitely get that lemongrass. Oh, I can't get it out of the tin. It is. It has been in the 90s every day this week, so I'm sure it kind of melted and clung to the tin. Um, this would almost be able bath to my nose, except that the white tea, oh, look how pretty. I love when the um, pigment gets down at the bottom. It just makes it interesting when you cut it. But the white tea in this is so strong. So the white tea is definitely the strongest in this. And I love the smell of white tea. So I'm really glad I got this because it smells like white tea first, then the lemongrass, then some bergamot. Bergamot. There's no N at the end. I can maybe smell cedarwood, but barely. Oh, this smells so good. I don't imagine this as a Tahitian spa to me. This to me smells more of a, and who am I to say? I'm a white girl. But it smells more of like what I'd imagine like a, Japanese spa might smell like because there's a lot in Japan there's a lot of um teas that are used and essential like herbs that are used so to me it smells more like that oh, okay be quiet sorry I hope that didn't seem racist at all just in my experience with scent with sense that's what I have come to think sorry maybe I shouldn't have said that anyway Oh man, this really smells good. I'm so glad I got this one. I'm going to have to send some of this to my sister, Megan, because my sister, Megan, 
loves lemongrass scents. And so I'm going to have to send some of that love to her. I will sadly part with some because I love her and she will love that one. So Tahitian Spa. Okay. And this last one I'm so excited about. So one last loaf left. This was a ready bit that I got in her cheery stock that on cold, I wasn't super excited about. Um, and so I never melted it. Uh, around that time, Christina had put out quite a few fizzy and fruity scents. And in the cheer restock, there was quite a few fruity and fizzy scents. And so I kind of was like, oh, is this one even special? Like anything like that. I know that sounds sad, but I'm honest on these videos. Um, I did not melt it until I think it was two weeks ago. You guys. And I put the special sticker that Christina sends on this one. Jerry. And the sticker says, it's hard to beat a person who never gives up. Amen. Don't give up, guys. Jerry is such a special scent. And Jerry was my favorite person on the show. Because if you watched what he'd been through in life and his attitude and what he did, he never gives up. And I have, like, the most compassion and, I don't know, everything for people like that. So Jerry is... Tangy lime, pink, and tart berries with fizzy pop. And this, oh my gosh, I had put that ready. Oh my gosh, look how pretty. I didn't see the bottom. Oh, I love when the pigment does that. You guys, I had put that tiny ready bit. You know her ready bits, that tiny little ready bit cube almost in my tiny little melter in my bathroom that doesn't, it's a bulb, mini bulb warmer. That little piece of wax through like a boost for over 24 hours and it smelled amazing every time my kids walked in they were like what is that I was like what is that that fizzy and those pink berries and that line I mean if there is something that is says summer and is not strong like stronger than that I mean I don't freaking know what else that this is amazing I see why her group on Facebook is so active and so kind and just so supportive. I love her group. And so many of them melt Jerry and love Jerry. And I kind of was always like, hmm, maybe I should have given it a chance. I'm so glad she released it again because I'm so happy to have this other loaf. So that was that. That was my, to me, that is a very large haul because that was, what, five loaves and another loaf in quarter loaves basically. So six loaves to me, that is a, to me, my, with my financial standing, that's a big order. And I'm so thankful to have all of it because her wax is amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm sorry if this is kind of a weird setting and I'm like sitting up so tall trying to sit in the view, but anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe, stay well. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you.